So hello everybody and welcome to another Power BI video. In today's video, I am going to compare Power BI and Excel. And you're probably thinking like, yeah, right. You know, one of the biggest Power BI nerds in the planet is going to be fair about Excel. Well, I might surprise you. So take a look. My initial idea was actually to put points for each feature that one of the other does better, but I'm not going to do that actually. The reason why I'm not going to do that is because it doesn't make any sense. Power BI and Excel are two different tools that are used for different things. So depending on what you're trying to do, you will pick one or the other. It's not that one replaces the other. Again, it depends on what you're trying to do. So this video will not show you which tool is better because it's not comparable that way, but it will definitely show you which tool to use in which case. Okay, so let's get started. If we start from the first thing that we normally do, which is get data into Power BI or Excel, um, there are actually I believe more connectors in Power BI that you have in Excel. So connectors are these things that it says, okay, connect to uh, another Excel table or connect to an Azure database or connect to, you know, ERP data warehouse X. So those things Power BI has more of than Excel. I know that a lot of times we use Excel as an input tool, so we put the data in there. That's another thing. You have the same capabilities in Power BI, but when it comes to getting data from other sources, Power BI has more connectors. But with that said, now with Power Automate, with basically, you know, with flows and UV flows and all that stuff, allows you basically to get data from anywhere and put it in an Excel file and put it whenever you want, whatever you want. I don't see that a limitation for picking one tool over the other. You can still get the data in as well, but it won't be out of the box, basically. So, yeah. Now, what happens when you want to add or modify data that is available in a report? If you have Excel, easy peasy, right? You go to the same, click, click, de -de -de, you write the new number, you're done. In Power BI, you cannot do that. You can in certain cases using Power Apps, for example, from the Power Platform. But that is not the case. That, that, that is not what it's meant to do, and it does it poorly. You wouldn't have a Power App that goes in through a thousand lines where you input every single thing, or if, even if it's 50, because you know you can say, okay, for this type of product, category A, I want to have 50%, and then you can just drag and drop. With Power Apps, <laughs> Is <laughs> everything is possible, but but it doesn't make any sense. Now here's the thing. Here's where you have synergies for this thing. You can do the cleaning and the data analysis and all that stuff in Power BI, and then when you need to do row by row things, you can connect that data with Excel and do these row by row calculations, and then you're done. So you're using the best of each world. Now. We have the data in Power BI, we have the data in Excel, and the next thing that we need to do more often than not is just, you know, to transform it, to put it in the shape or form that we want in order to do the analysis that we were trying to do from the very beginning. And when it comes to that, you have Power Query in Power BI, which is brilliant. It's the best thing of Power BI for sure, in my opinion. And you have Power Query in Excel too. And I think it's 2013, I believe. It is included in Excel. You don't have to add it as an add-in. If you have below that, you have to add it. So the capabilities are basically the same. So no, I, I, I don't know if they've developed Power BI in Power Query more than in Excel, but for what I've seen is pretty much the same. So no battle in there. Okay, so if you don't have a lot of data, then Power BI or Excel will do an excellent job without any problem. If you start getting millions of rows, then Excel is going to die on you. It's going to crash and die, and there's nothing you can do about it. So for that, you need more powerful tools. Now, 
Power BI can handle a lot of data and you don't need to get to a million rows before Excel starts to get heavy. But you know, there's limits as to how big the big data is in Power BI too. So let's not get fooled by that. But it can manage more data than Excel can do, for sure. And that brings us to the next one, which is related, which is performance. And again, they perform very well both if they have if there's not a lot of data, but as soon as you start getting a lot of data, Power BI is by far a better tool to use. It won't crash that up. It, it, it never crashes. <laughs> it never crashes. That's the thing. It gets slow, but it never crashes. Okay, so now that we have the data in the in the shape that we want, we want to start analyzing things. And for that, in Power BI, you have DAX and you have the you know the ability to model your data to put it in in tables and do relationships with things and you know that type of stuff you can do that too in excel you can have power pivot i'm not sure if it is included nowadays by default in excel but it is a still uh, it is an add-in if you don't have it already included and allows you to do exactly the same things now what is the difference here in power bi you are limited to dax there's no other way to do calculations. In Excel, you can choose between using DAX calculations or doing the Excel way. You know, you put the data into an Excel sheet and then you do your sums and whatever you need with Excel formulas. And it is a lot easier, let's be, let's be frank. So to learn DAX, it, it takes time quite a lot of time, while Excel is a lot more intuitive, Excel formulas. Um, the thing is that there are certain things that you will not be able to accomplish in an easy way using Excel formulas that with DAX is like that. So again, it depends on what you're trying to do. You might want to say, I will use Excel formulas because it is pretty simple, or I want to calculate this super thing and DAX will do it for me. Okay, so it depends. It depends. <laughs> Okay, so now we have the data in, Power, in Excel or Power BI, we've done the calculations and it's time to do visualizations. Well, when it comes to visualizations, we need to break it down a little bit because it's not that easy. If we talk about just the graphs, the type of visualizations you can do, Excel has a lot more. And the ability to customize those vis visuals or graphs or charts is a lot better than in Power BI, for sure. And yes, Power BI has the possibility to import tools from third party. A lot of companies cannot use those tools. You can create them yourself with Charticulator. Fine, a lot of people don't have the knowledge or the time to do that. So out of the box, Excel has a better visualization charts, graphs, and things. But when it comes about visualizing data, that's one of the things that Power BI does better than Excel because, for example, you have the possibility to add these artificial intelligence visualizations that Microsoft is delivering out of the box. I have you have this explain the decrease and increase, which I absolutely love. It's a wonderful, wonderful feature. And then you have the AI visualizations that have come to the market, which they have limited reach, but this is an area where Power BI is going that you don't see it in Excel. And we are going to see more and more of that, which we'll see where it goes. Um, and then you have the part of, okay, I have done my report, how do I interact with, with it? And the interactivity of Power BI reports is a lot better than you have with Excel. So you have the bookmarks, you have drill downs, drill throughs, you have cross filtering, you have highlight. So the ability for you to interact with your data and explore your data is easier in Power BI than it would be in Excel. So for example, let's say that you have a sales meeting and you see that sales has gone down. Well, in Power BI, you have the possibility to right click if you've done it to another report or to the same in the same report to another tab that has a product by product comparison. And right there in the middle of the meeting, you can find out what's going on. While in Excel, you maybe have to find another report and maybe the report has not been refreshed. So 
it, 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 there is there is a difference there that that is quite noticeable anyhow. So again, it depends on what you're trying to do. Power BI or Excel. You, you have to make that choice. Okay, so now that we have our final report done and looks pretty, looks beautiful, we are going to share it. So how do you share things? In Excel, the only way to share it is you put it into a shared drive somewhere or you email it to somebody. And you know what happens when you email things and put it outside its context, right? They get all right off the bat. So with Power BI, you have the possibility to publish these Power BI desktop reports to the cloud so anybody can get a link to see them. And not only that, you can also schedule refresh it, which basically means that what you're seeing is live data. Everybody's looking at the same data. So it's not like I emailed you a report yesterday and somebody's looking at another report today that was refreshed today and the data does not match. You wouldn't have that problem with Power BI service. So sharing capabilities are by far a lot better than Excel. But Excel is not made for that. That's the only thing. It's just Excel is made for other things. You know, you're, you're doing your own analysis on your Excel and maybe you're sharing with your team on a Monday morning meeting, right? This is like we're doing a financial report that the entire company wants to see. The Power BI would be the right tool for that, okay? So every time that you are sharing things, what happens? You have to be very, very careful with data security, right? And because Power BI has been made to share, one of the main focus of Power BI is that you're able to share whatever you produce. It has also a huge focus on data security, obviously. So you have row level security, you have the possibility to show a dashboard without the possibility to download the report or the data, for example. So row level security means that you only see the data that was that you are supposed to see. For example, if you're a manager of in the US, you will only see US data kind of thing. Obviously, you don't have that type of capability in Excel because Excel is not made for that. Now that we're still on the sharing topic, how about taking a look at reports on your tablet or your mobile? You have obviously the Excel online where you can open an Excel and, and take a look at it, but Power BI has done a lot better job with mobile reports. You have a mobile app and to be fair, the mobile visualizations are not made for mobile, but, but still they are easier to interact with an Excel file, in my opinion, anyhow. So again, Power BI was made to the work that you do to share with others. Okay. Well, Excel, it, it, it's not that it's just individual work. I've worked with Excel before Power BI and we were sharing the data, but it is not as good when you're trying to do that, basically. You know, you, you have to figure out exactly what you need to do and then pick the best tool for the job. Power BI is not always going to be the best tool the same way as Excel is not going to always be the best tool. It depends on what you're trying to do. So lay out what your requirements are for what you're trying to do and then go side by side and say, can Power BI Excel or Excel do this and who is best at? And then obviously at some point you will have to compromise because both tools have their limitations and you will hit probably more than one. So then at the end you have to compromise and say, okay, then I'll use Excel because I'm not sharing with a lot of people. It's just for my team. We're business users. We know Excel better. It will be quicker and faster. And, you know, we're just going to display it every Monday morning and we're going to just follow sales. You don't need a full-fledged Power BI report for that. But if you are doing a financial report that everybody in the organization should see, how are you going to do that with Excel? It's a lot easier to do it with Power BI. And then Power BI have all these amazing, you know, enterprise capabilities of data lineage and data flows. And yeah, we could talk forever, but, but that that's another thing that does, you know, we're actually going out of what Power BI and Excel is. So, summa summarum, 
pick the best tool for the job. Define what your job is, define what you want to do, and then pick either Excel or Power BI. No tool is going to do everything good. So hope this clarifies it. I will see you again as always on Wednesday with probably it's going to be a Power Query trick, but we'll see. Anyhow, take care. Bye bye.